So if you're ever looking at buying a sleeping bag, there are two kinds of fillings. You have down and you have synthetic. And the main kind of dis uh, differences between them that kind of impact you when you're walking is down is much lighter and less bulky for the same amount of heat that a synthetic bag would give you. So to have a, ba a synthetic bag that keeps you just as warm as a down bag, it's going to be much bigger and bulkier and heavier. However, Synthetic bags are considered to be less delicate, I guess you could say. And, and generally it's said that once you get down wet, it's dead. That there is no saving it and to be honest that kind of scared us when we first started walking. We were very, very cautious with what we did with our, with our down jackets and our down sleeping bags. But it also means that we haven't actually really cleaned them, which is not the right thing to do either. What they mean by when down gets wet, it's dead is more about if you're camping and the bag gets wet or damp and you just kind of you, you pack it up and you leave it and you don't take care of it and it gets mouldy and also when it's wet it doesn't have any insulating properties the down clumps together and isn't usable um, after after one of our last trips Carl did have to pack up his sleeping bag damp um, it, all of our stuff just got wet one night it was a bit of a disaster so packed it up and then promptly forgot about it um, <laughs> which was not great so then when we opened it, it it definitely needs a clean now so I'm going to go through washing my down or the down sleeping bag and I guess just kind of talk through the process when you're washing a down bag make sure to use a not a standard laundry detergent but something that is made for washing down bags you can get them in any outdoor shop And you want to run your washing machine on a the lowest cycle, like a delicate or a hand wash or whatever your washing machine has. It's also best that you don't use a top loading washing machine, just a front loading washer, because um, the agitating of top washers apparently um, can shake and, and rip your the, the baffles of the bag. So be careful. Um, yep, yeah, have it on a super super low, super super gentle wash. And then when you're removing the bag, down, it's a feather and it gets really, really, really heavy while it's wet. So don't try and lift the bag like from the top. Make sure to support the weight from underneath because the last thing you want is for um, the wet down to tear through the, the nylon or whatever is the outside of your packaging, of the, of the sleeping bag. Um, so lift from underneath. And then if you're using a dryer to dry it, throw in a couple of sh tennis balls, again, on a really, really low heat. So it's kind of like a slow, um, a low, long drying process. Depending on, on what kind of bag you have, like if you know the brand of your bag, you can go to the website of that manufacturer and they often have tips for cleaning. Um, so it's best to look at your specific bag and know how to, like, if there's anything that they say to do or not to do in regards to drying it. Some companies say to use a dryer, some companies say to air dry, some say to air dry in the shade, some say to air dry in the sunshine. Um, so have a, have a browse online for what is specific to your bag or your down jacket or your, I don't know, down lined socks. I don't know what else would be down. <laughs> um, and when your bag is finished washing, uh, it's often recommended to put it through a second uh, rinse and spin um, just to get any excess uh, down detergent out of the feathers. So I have the fully washed um, duvet, or duvet, I guess it's kind of a duvet. <laughs> so I have the fully washed and dried sleeping bag. It is still the teeniest bit damp, um, but I didn't want to leave it in the dryer for too long, um, or put it up too high. It was really important to keep it nice and low, so, ta-da! Still looks pretty good, the inside looks pretty clean. Um, because it's been so long since this was uh, cared for, I might let it dry out for a few days um, until, it, until it's bone dry again. And maybe next week or something, wash it again 
Maybe I mightn't. Um, for storing down sleeping bags, it's really good not to stuff them back into their tiny, tiny travel stuff sack. Um, so if you have like a really large canvas bag, um, most down bags come with a much larger stuff sack to um, keep them in at home. So make sure to let it all loosen out and let the feathers spread out and be nice and fluffy. And yeah, um, now time to just kind of let it, let it lounge and dry. So yeah, if you'd like to know about all the gear that we use, we do have a gear list up on our website. I'll link it in the description below. And yeah, let let it, let me know what what gear works for you and what gear doesn't, and how you how you take care of it. Um, also, I need to say a huge thank you to all of our patrons, um, who without their support, this whole project wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much. I um, really appreciate all of you, and I'd like to say a special thank you to Terry Rogers, Alan Grant, and Colin Wishaker. Um, we really pre appreciate um, you and everybody's support. Um, if you want to check out our Patreon, it is patreon.com forward slash And yeah, that's it for now, I guess. <laughs>